If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. And today, we got the brand new Power expansions. We got six new, a few of them good, probably a few of them ass. We already know how this goes. So always going to be some good ones, always going to be some bad ones, but we got to go through them, see them all. I already bought all the power-ups. I feel like that's the easiest way to do it every week, just buy all six. Go through it through newest, filter it out, and just go one by one, check them out, see what they look like. So, pretty excited for a few of them, just based off name. And then the other few may not be the names I'm looking for, but their stats could be really good. Although, there's one guy I think will be really bad, but we'll get into all that, guys. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the channel lately. If you have been enjoying the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on your boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of these six new power expansions in the comments below. I'm happy we're getting some kind of content, despite us being less than two months away from Madden 21 at this point. I mean, that's that's all I can hope for at this point, I guess. And some Madden 21 news, of course, which we did get yesterday, but I would like some more. Some interesting videos to make. Definitely exciting to talk about a new Madden in comparison to talking about this Madden at that point. Kind of hypes me up because we get into like that Madden 21 mode. But, guys, let's head over to the binder. Let's check out all these new power-ups. So, you guys are going to see all six right here when I filter through newest. So let's go right here. And we got Eddie Goldman, Darnell Dockett, Bradley Chubb, Jason Witten, Bruce Matthews, and Terrell Owens. So let's start from here, Eddie Goldman. So in my opinion, I haven't checked this card out yet. I think Eddie Goldman could be a pretty solid defensive tackle if they do his stats right here. So let's see. Oh, it's a 99 overall. He's got the zero chill card art. 96 strength is good. 70 agility is low, but it's a, it's, a, it's a defensive tackle. 70 speed is pretty low. 81 excel is pretty low. So okay, he's not going to be too athletic. So we know that. And um, there's some pretty athletic uh, defensive tackles like me and Joe Green and John Randall. 99 tackles, great. 80 jumping, I care less about. 94 impact blocking is pretty good. Power move is low. Finesse move is low. Block shedding is actually, in my opinion, low because if you're going to have a low, if you're going to have a low power move and low finesse, your block shedder better be a 99. Shoots 97, hit power 91. In my opinion, this card is not too great. Although if you do chem him up and power, oh, he's already powered up. If you chem him up, you can't get his block shed or power move, either power move above a 90 or block shed 99. But in my opinion, at this point in the year, like in my like, here's the thing: back when we were in like the Christmas and we had 90 overall cards, yes, you either did one or the other. You either got a defensive tackle that was really good at block shedding or really good at pass rushing or just decent at both. But we are in June, 99 overall cards. Every card should be good at everything because that's what the like. You can't go against other people who are good at everything if your cards won't be good at everything too, because people are gonna pass and run on you. You need a pass rusher there too, unless you want to sub them out for pass plays, but that's more of a headache for some people who don't know how to do all the formation subs and stuff like that. So in my opinion, Eddie Goldman, not exactly my favorite one here, just based off of his stats. I mean, I think his power should have been a little bit better. I mean, maybe he's not that great at pass rushing in real life, so they shouldn't be, but he has a 99 overall card at this point. There shouldn't be stats that are bad. That's just my opinion on the whole, you know, the whole scenario. So Darnell Dock at 99 overall, he's got his legend, base Saturday legend card art here. 96 strength, good. 70 agility doesn't matter. 80 speed is it's, it's decent. 85 acceleration is good because again he is a defensive tackle, so I can't I can't have to discount that though. Like he is speed is actually sell is actually pretty up there. 96 awareness is great. 95 tackle is great. 95 impact blocking is good. 97 power move is great. 84 finesse doesn't matter because he has he has the uh, power move and 96 block shit. Okay, so that's solid. 93 pursuit. 96 play rec. 87 hit power. So here's the thing, right? How can you choose Eddie Goldman over Darnell Dockett? Darnell Dockett has plus 10 speed. Plus four or plus five acceleration, so he's way more athletic by by a, a large margin. He can pass rush way way better, like a hundred times better, and he's just as good at stopping the run. So now instead of having a run special, a run stopping special, you have a guy who can stop the run, and if it's a pass play, he can also rush the quarterback. In my opinion, Darnell Dock is a no-brainer. This card's actually pretty solid in my opinion. You uh, chem him up properly, you either get 99 power move or you get 99 block shed, or if you somehow have the chems right and the right team, you can maybe even get both. I like that Darnell Dockett. Move on to the next one. Bradley Chubb. And as you guys see, it's always ordered like that. Like three defensive, three offensive. That's kind of tied by them. Makes it a little bit easier too. All right, so here we go. All the way to the right for Bradley Chubb. He has his Blitz. His Black Friday Blitz card art. 95 strength. Good. 84 agility. Solid. 90 speed. 93 excel. Great. 97 awareness. Good. 97 tackles. Amazing. 92 jumping is good. 96 impact blocking is solid. 90 power move is bad. But 95 finesse move is solid. 97 blocks, 98 pursuit. Now that pursuit's pretty good in case he's chasing a quarterback down or he's chasing a running back on a stretch down or anything like that. Play rec, 97 solid. Hit power, 97. 
I honestly like this card. Now, the way it came up, put a, put a, what's it called, like, the pass rushing ability on him, get his finesse moves like a 97, 98, and then going ahead, he'll have, like, almost maxed out finesse moves, almost maxed out block shot with John Madden. He will have almost maxed out play rec. He will be a phenomenal hitter. He's going to be super fast. Guys, it's kind of like Lawrence Taylor, but probably a little bit cheaper. But I really like this card. I think this card's great. Bradley Chubb's going to be up there as one of the best cards dropped today. Now, let's move on to the offense. Jason Wayne. Now, this is the guy that I personally think is going to be absolutely ass. But we have to give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's check him out real quick. You never know. Maybe because of... No, no, I know, I know this card's going to be ass. I'm not even going to try to sugarcoat this. He's going to be super slow. Yep. 87 strength. Bad. 85 agility. Bad. 83 speed horrible we are in june you guys understand that 83 speed is what players were dropped on base like basically cards in in august or july i should say had 83 speed his 83 speed in june i don't i understand jason Witten is slow but just like most games or just like madden you know in real life saquon barkley probably has let's say a 91 speed by the end of the year saquon barkley is 99 speed is saquon barkley 99 speed no is every card in the game 99 no but that's how madden it, madden gets up there do i think jason wouldn't by any means should be 99 speed no i think jason wouldn't be like a 91 so that's still slow that's 91 speed will be slow in the tight end spectrum but it'll be it'll be fast compared to jason Witten. and now i understand madden used to have an issue with this where they used to give everyone 99 stats and like it was just ridiculous like even Witten was fast but i don't agree with that but i also don't think they should make him a turtle the whole year because it's unusable it's not usable unless you have a cowboys theme team and that's just because you like him that's not because he's still usable 99 catching great, 94 carrying great, 85 run blocking great. Now, guys, if you want to use him as a pure run blocker that occasionally can come out and catch a pass for you in the red zone, I mean, that's that's okay, too. And if you're on, like, the two-yard line and you do a fake run block release on him or something, like, he could be pretty useful in that situation. Although, I don't know if that's the route I'd go. 80 juke, decent impact blocking. That's really much it. He has really good, run, he has really good route running. Really good route running. Okay, guys, honestly, yeah, if you want to use him as, like, a five-yard red zone blocking running catching specialist could be really good in that role with the, with the catch traffic and the uh, b press again is he worth it on most teams like if you're gonna if you use your tight end extensively and like extra trails and over the middle routes and things like that don't use him but if you only use your tight end for blocking and occasional releasing or like uh, steam running right there he could be pretty useful in that role I'm not gonna lie but i still don't think that he's a he's like he's not a, a four down a four down tight end all game unless or like should i say and all the way down the field catching he can do it all he's gonna be only used in the red zone so you're gonna have to um, if you only run between the 20s that's fine i guess but next we got bruce matthews left guard for the tennessee titans he has his nfl 100 card art 95 strength good 76 agility doesn't matter speed speed excel is decent for a center 97 pass block 97 run block amazing 97 impact blocking amazing 96 run block power good 98 run block finesse amazing pass block power 96 amazing and 97 uh pass block finesse amazing and then 97 run block a uh, lead block sorry Amazing. So this card kept up all the ways and cut close to 99, almost everything or 98. Card's great. Gonna be a super cheap left guard, and I'm pretty sure we've been lacking guards in Madden right now. So if you want to put him at right guard, if you can't afford the new or left guard, whichever one, Larry Allen's. I think it's right guard. Larry Allen's on LTD is too expensive. You know, toss him up, put Bruce Matthews over there, or keep him at left doesn't really matter. But that is a brand new guard for everyone to finally pick up. And now the final card, which I know a lot of people are probably excited for, is T.O. Terrell Owens has not gotten too much love this year. He did get that one playoff card. But, like, it was good, but, like, that was it. You know, he wasn't he wasn't able to be, like, a dominant force all year. He had his Legend card, which was pretty good time, and then his playoff. So, this card is at 84 strength. Good. 95 agility. Good. 96 speed. Kind of low, but it gets 99 anyways. You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, it doesn't matter as long as you have 96. Sprinter, John Madden, you're there. 96 sells good. 97 catching is good. 91 carrying is really good, actually, for a wide receiver. 97 jumping solid. 82 trucking is good. 89 elusive. 95 ball carry vision. 95 stiff arm. Now, guys, there's a possibility this car can get uh, armbar, which, like I always tell you guys, armbar doesn't really work against linebackers or defensive linemen, but wide receivers who could be on Deion Sanders or, like, one of those guys. Like, if you're, if you're one-on-one with Deion Sanders and you have Terrell Owens, I promise you, you could probably stiff arm the hell out of him with armbar. 86 spin move, 89 uh, juke move. Not the best run blocker, but honestly, better than most wide receivers. So, guys, that's actually a positive. You gotta look at this. 62 seems bad, but that's close to a lot of, like, like if you put a tight end at, if you put a tight end on wide receiver with the 60 set up something run block they block really well that's what terrell owens is going to be terrell owens has great catching great catching traffic great route running great beat press i think this terrell owens is really really solid and he's like a do-it-all kind of guy he can he can catch it he can run with it and he can run block and he can throw and he can break tackles i think you might sacrifice a little bit like versus a julio 
but he, he can do a lot more in the run block category, I think, and stiff arm wise and stuff. That stiff arm, guys, that's gonna be that could be pretty nasty against a cornerback because cornerbacks are not the best tacklers. But guys, about it for the video. About to rank them, starting from worst to best. Starting off worst, I'm gonna put Eddie Eddie Goldman in worst, coming in at sixth because I don't really see a use for him over Darnell Dock. Coming in at fifth is gonna be Jason Witten. Slightly better than Goldman because he can be a red zone specialist. I don't think Goldman's useful for much at all. So that's coming in at five. Now coming in at number four, I'm going to put probably. Oh, this is tough. Um, I'm gonna put Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb is really, really amazing. No, 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 no. Four is gonna be Darnell Dockin. He's amazing too, but he's a defensive tackle. There's some better ones. I'm gonna put three as Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb's really good, but Lawrence Taylor is better. But Bradley Chubb is still really good. I can't discount him. Coming in number two is going to be Bruce Matthews because he's just a super cheap 99 guard that we really don't have right now. That's a very scarce position. And then number one is going to be Terrell Owens, guys. The Terrell Owens looks super, super fun. I really do like that. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always, if you haven't already. Comment down below what you guys think of these cards. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to pick up any of these cards, you need coins to do anything, go to MMOEXP. Use code Poodle. Pick up some coins. Way cheaper than trying to sell your cards right now or buying coins. Or, well, buying packs, I should say. You guys, about it. I'm out. Peace.